Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Network Merchandise Shop. Check out our large assortment of logo merch and our lifestyle collection as well. Just head over to abvnetwork.com and click on shop. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we celebrate the year 1988, as it's the year that gave us our very own McNew. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Danny Kennard, Kathy Cool, and Lenny Eckstein. I hey, gang. What's... Uh, show 19 or 1988, right? 1, yes. Yeah. It's show 1988. So we're celebrating 88. Yeah. So we did that when we did show 1968, because that was the year I was born. I was born in 68. So we, did, we celebrated 68, uh, that show. So uh, I, I was looking, I was like 88. I bet you somebody on the team was 88. And I was like, oh, McNeil. Boom, McNeil. There we go. Let's do a show. There, I okay. wasn't Becca, too. I think Becca and I are the same age. Really? I, I don't think so. I thought she was uh, 88, too. Maybe, maybe not. Becca yeah. turned 34 on March 5th. So That's when does it? Same, does same. That... She was also an 88 baby. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks, for, thanks for pointing that out. Now she'll be pissed at me. So thank you. I appreciate that for making <laughs> well, things yeah. smooth in my life. So that's oh, good. There we that's go. Good. That's really nice. So yeah, that'll be that'll be good. And uh, you know what? Becca doesn't listen, uh, so it'd be fine. But Mandy will listen and tell her. So there, you, that's how it all comes full circle. Oh my gosh, Steve! Hey, 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 Becca! Did you hear the show today? Steve uh, did a show about '88 where he celebrated McNew and not you. I just and then I'll call Mandy about it. Like, why did you no, do that? Sure and she'd be like, I didn't know. I, I was just talking to her, and I thought I was weird that you did it. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know. You had no idea this was going to cause me all kinds of grief, and people are going to be pissed at me. And you just innocently ruined my life, as for the hundredth <laughs> time. You, uh, the hundredth time you've innocently ruined my life with no knowledge of yourself of doing that. Uh, that's how. It, yeah, yeah. I had no. I wasn't trying to, you know, get under your skin or anything. It just it was conversation, natural conversation. Yeah. So that's how this, this is one's going to go for me, folks. So there you go. My March 18th is going to be fucking wonderful. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> before we get to the show that is going to ruin my life for at least a month or two, uh, let's uh, go to Kathy, who said there's something she wanted to talk about. What is that, Kathy? I do. Um, and it might ruin Lenny's life a little bit. Um, okay. We're going to talk about things that make you vomit. Things that make you vomit. Oh, I got a lot of them. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's roller coasters. I roller can coasters. Yeah. spin in circles forever and ever. But if I get on a roller coaster, the second I get off, I'm going to vomit. Something I know about Lenny is um, rolling seas. Rolling seas. Yeah. 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 No, that's a fact. I would be the same way. I, I don't know. Maybe I suffer from a weak stomach. I, I, uh, I the, the, you know, rough seas would definitely get me. Uh, so I, that's why I don't go deep sea fishing and that stuff. Cause I'll, I'd be thrown up over the side. Uh, yeah. Amusement park rides, particularly the ones that jerk you aside or go in loops. I can do like big Hills for like log flumes or even, even like, uh, the pilgrim thing in, in Santa Claus, Indiana, but it's just a big, I can go cause that's straight down. But when they're, when they're, when they're jostling you, it makes, it throws my equilibrium off or something. So, uh, that gets to me uh you know most foods and, and things that you guys would just eat normally uh a lot of them would get to me uh, i mean i can't you know i can't uh you know asparagus i'd be throwing up if i had to eat wow. that stuff like, yeah yeah I, I just couldn't uh, you know if i was on like fear factor and I'm like okay what you got to do is you got to eat three sticks of asparagus i mean you can't throw up i mean i'd be like oh my god 50 grand that's not enough money i can't i can't do this wow. i'd be crying I, i'd be the guy crying and stuff yeah 
vomiting you know, when I did it. Because the flavor is that bad? Yeah, it's just wow. too intense. It's, I just can't do and it. That, is it like that cilantro tastes like soap, Gene, or what? Like asparagus is good. Steve. No, that's just one example. I mean, you could come up with a hundred examples. Well, of let's call like it not good. I've never heard anybody call it intense. Yeah. Oh, okay. asparagus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, asparagus. Definitely. I love it. Well, sure. I'm not saying I'm I'm not like Mandy Kaplan, where uh, I think my <laughs> my peculiarities are. I'm the normal one. Everyone else is insane. You know, like yeah. Mandy's like you guys, you, 99.98 percent of you that like cheese are fucking insane. I'm the normal one because I don't like. Cheese. No, I'm like, yeah, I don't like asparagus. I'm fucking weird. That's that's terrible. I wish I did. I want to be normal. I'm not. That's not normal. But I can't. What can you do? I can't eat it. Yeah. I can't eat broccoli or you wow. name it. Yeah. All broccoli. Are out. Yeah. Cauliflower. Oh, it's too much. Oh, so so beets. Beets. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one of the worst ones ever. My dad decided he's going to cure me of this. And all, of all days, it's the beets. So my dad, of course, is a big guy, uh, you know, and this is when I'm like, you know, first grade or something like that. He's like, this kid is going to eat. I I've got it. So he's like, he grabs the beach, shoves them in my mouth, closes my mouth. And, you know, you're going to eat them. And, you know, I, when he finally lets me go, I just start vomiting everywhere. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Please and, and he, me water chestnuts you're okay with. Well, oh, oh, God, no, that's too much. Oh, no, I can't do water enough. chestnuts. It's horrible. They have no flavor. They just have crunch. They're oh, just the, crunchy. The texture, the texture is just it's too much. Crunchy like an apple. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in any way trying to convince you that I'm the normal one. I want, I want the record to state. I know that this is weird. I know it's weird. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I think uh, uh, losing one's uh, innards on a boat is not weird. I feel like that's no. fair. Yeah, I, 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 that's probably you at least 50 percent to catch a fish and it was a yeah. delicious fish yeah no. uh and i think it was uh just prior to uh me losing it over the side of the boat yeah yeah so. danny anything that uh can you to vomit that's a surprise i mean no i would say either turning into freddie mills or the fear of heights the fear of heights okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danny, yeah. uh, with Danny with doesn't like heights. Okay. Yeah. yeah. McNeil, how about you? I, we were yeah. in Key West and I was there with two friends and we went to the lighthouse. Yeah. That gets some people. I, I just started plowing up the stairs. Fonte freaked out up there. Yeah. 10 steps up. One of them said, I'm going back. And then we get to the top and the other one says, I'm not going out on the rail. So they had like it was serious. I had, I wasn't sure he was he went up to the top, but I wasn't sure my friend was going to get back down. But um, so I you know I understand the heights thing, but there was no vomiting. Right, right. That would have been well, terrible. You didn't you didn't get him to go out to the the rail though. Ma imagine if you're like okay, go out on the rail and now raise your hands and lean against the rail. Right. Yeah, they, they, he might have vomited if you did that. You know, uh, you know. He Danny's talking about this. You, know, you don't just put Danny at the top of the ladder. He starts vomiting. I mean, it's it's a it's an intense situation. He's talking exactly. About. Yeah, uh, it's not I, not just I have a, the I, I about lost my shit the year I went to New Orleans and I drove across the short bridge. Oh, <laughs> I got a, I got another buddy, Danny, who's afraid of bridges and that. I didn't uh, realize we're we're driving all of a sudden. All of a sudden, I see him block up and he's like, "Oh, <laughs> it's like it's a bridge." I'm like, "Well, yeah, there's a lot of bridges in this world. It's a it's a bridge world." And he I locked scared, up. I scared the shit out of Misty. Yeah, I really did. I've I, seen a, I've I, seen I, my, my I buddy do that. Threw up yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, Seriously, there's some bridges that are bad. Intense. Like I, there was one I went over in uh, in West Virginia, and it had all these holes in the bridge. It, it literally it was made that way. It wasn't like there was holes because it was falling apart. It was just, I guess, it was just for to let the rain straight through. But there's all these holes, and it 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 it, it was kind of how odd. big were these holes? Big, you know, probably each one like this. It, 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 it's just it, like it, like it's the whole like thing. The whole thing was just like holes. Yeah. It was like Swiss cheese. It was driving over, it was Swiss, like driving cheese. over Swiss cheese. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that either. Uh, I was not, I was, that was one I didn't like. Kind of cowardly. Yeah. 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 What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, uh, McNeil, how about you? What uh, would be, uh, you know, something that would make bar. you fun? No. Um, okay, so roller coasters, I don't mind, except okay. they are not the same roller coasters that when I was a kid, because like now I have boobs and I'm like, I'm getting the hell beat out of me in so many ways. Like they're, they're not fun anymore. I don't like them. But um, 
oysters when I see people eat oysters. oysters. Like, okay. I immediately want to turn around and throw up. I it's it's slight it's a te- yeah. I'm weird about textures. Food textures are a thing for me. Oh yeah, yeah. You're weird about foods. And I like how how are you doing this? I if I'm fine if people order them, but I don't want to sit by you while you're eating them. You're I, slurping I, them. What do you like? Someone's just the big oyster slurp in there. No, because noises bother me too. And they're like, mmm, it's so well, moist. Is this is right a, now. That was no, this I'm, this this oyster is extra moist. I want to be like the uh, opposite end of the table or not even in the restaurant. I cannot do oysters. Um, that what if you were with Pete Davidson? And ball cap. <laughs> no, that's, that it's disgusting no matter who's doing it. And yeah, if I hear wood, another... I can't do open wounds. So like, I like those pimple poppy videos. And like, yeah. Oh, what, are you, what are you talking about? I saw you pop a boil on the back of Bo Cumberland's that's head. And the smell, oh, so bad. That's, that's, that's I almost awesome. threw up just because of the smell of this, and that's, all this, all this liquid awesome. shoots out of there and just starts dribbling yeah. down. And McDo's just like, I think I can get more. I excuse me, <laughs> but I can't do like if there's like an open gash, if you get cut on something, or like your skin is splayed open, I'm like, oh, I can't do like a giant hole in a body. Can't do it. You know, a bow had a boil the size of a baseball on his show. Back. Disgusting. At, at one point. <laughs> And, and he was driving. He was driving we down the highway. To be talking about all the oysters and seasickness. He was driving down the highway, and it, and it broke. He thought he got shot. He thought there was a road rage incident, and someone shot him because he felt all of a sudden felt all this liquid pouring down his back. No. His boil no. just broke. Poor guy. Well, oysters and open wounds do it for me. I can't. I cannot. Thanks for wrapping that one up. <laughs> Kathy, what the, what's something that the odd that makes you throw up? So, um. I'm the opposite of McNew. I can take all the open wounds you've got. Oh, God. No. And the blood. But this, as soon as you start popping pus out of people. Yeah. I, I love that. <laughs> um, that. So my nephew, um, he, he's he's 17 now. But when he was born, he lived with my parents. And um, my mom and my sister were out. And my dad called me. And I live four miles away and he called me. He's like, I got a poopy diaper and you got to help me. I'm like, dad, I don't, I don't do poopy diapers. Oh, I, don't, I can't do that. Apparently this. neither did your dad. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, no, I need your help. So okay. when so my dad says, dad. I need yeah. your help, I go over. And it was one of those like. Up a blow up. Oh yeah. And all we could do was like, he was stood in the doorway with a, trash bag and i would wipe and pass wipe and pass and that time we're like <laughs> both of us were like gagging <laughs> gagging like we were gonna vomit on the floor and it's just wipe and pass wipe and pass and luckily at some point my sister came home and she said you put your diaper on my kid backwards I'm like is there a front i don't know does it matter there was a diaper <laughs> <laughs> that, that happened to me once I was babysitting my cousin's kid I was probably 16 and the kid was two-ish like right before your potty trained and she was just like you put my diaper on backwards I'm like the fucking kid's telling me I did it wrong <laughs> <laughs> and like when they could talk like that but they still aren't using the toilet it's like alright you, know, you can tell me to put the diaper on tell me when you gotta go to the bathroom yeah can they put their own diaper on if they know it's backwards? Can they just like <laughs> yeah. it themselves? Yeah. You're so independent. Yeah, go change yeah. your own diaper. Yeah, the kid was 12. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most distasteful <laughs> bourbon daily ever. Yeah. Another trigger for me still is on to, small talk. Uh, another trigger for <laughs> me is to hear somebody hurl. But I, oh. I can't stand it. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I'm fine. Until I hear somebody else hack. Yeah, there you go. No, so I'm actually like, I'm kind of like a puke and rally girl. Most if it's drinking, I'm like, I'm just gonna go throw up real quick. I'll be back. Like it doesn't bother me to throw up unless it's something yeah. that actually grosses me out. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I drink too much. I want to throw up. I ate too much. Let me go throw up. Like I'll be back. It'll be fine. But that's if it's something that's gross, I'm done. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? All right. Well, let's get past all that nastiness, and it's time to drink. I got the the sweats after that one. That was bad. (laughs) Uh, What is everyone drinking? Let's start with Kathy. Kathy, what are you drinking there? Oh, she's got to go. I'm going to find it. She's wandering off. I'm going to have a Yellowstone. Um, It's a single barrel. 
Okay. It was picked for the oh, St. Louis Bourbon Society. Okay. Okay. Not much there. Not much there. So I'll go next. I've got uh, five brothers here from Heaven Hill. From Heaven Hill. Gift shop only. So. Ooh, nice. Did you sit in a chair? Uh, yeah, this is back when you could sit in chairs. I've had it for a while. So. No, Kathy's still got the lead. I didn't have much going on there, so she's got the lead. What do you got, McNeil? Have uh, Hard Shoe Pills Sipes Bourbon. Ooh. No, Kathy has the lead. Mike Muffle got you. Yeah. Mm. Mike Muffle got, got you. Mike Muffle. Long Branch. Yep, got some Long Branch. The Matthew McConaughey of bourbons. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use the high E technique on this one. We'll see okay. what happens. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. wow. Danny, that's, that's going to be tough to impossible to beat. Uh, he, he says that the altitude, of course, he's gets Dave Ewald's believe in that BS. And then he yeah. comes up with one like that. It's like, oh, what, where was the altitude? Dude, was the altitude suddenly gone there? Did it, it was it the height Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's anyway, why I don't believe any of that stuff. All right. What do you got I'm there? trying a new thing out of Utah. It's called Moon's Best from the <laughs> Distended. Uh, sorry, Dented Brick Distillery. Danny comes up with some stuff. He he's like vets out all these things. I have no idea. I don't if I don't know what it is, I, I don't buy it. But Danny does, yeah. But it's a rye whiskey, it's only about 80 proof. Oh, mm. boy. those Mormons out in Utah. Yeah, not not very inspired there. So let's see what you got. Okay, that was very good. Danny, I'd say that's damn near enough to win most cork pops, and it would have won actually some tonight, but it's not going to win this one. Uh, yeah, Lenny got fine. it with his explosive cork pop, so there you go. Cheers, Cheers. gang. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're celebrating 1988. Kathy's got some facts for us. We'll check into those. We'll do that in just a few. Hello, this is Steve Akeley of the ABV Network. Let's talk about the people who make this show happen. First up is Leatherwood Distillery in Pleasant View, Tennessee. Company founder Andy Lang started distilling as a hobby while serving his country as an elite Green Beret. Andy distilled all over the world during his time in the military and brought this passion back to him in the U.S. when he returned home. A visit to Leatherwood combines Andy Lang's unique distilled spirits and a museum of artifacts from his time serving the U.S. Share a drink with a fallen soldier at their bar where you can grab an acrylic bio off the wall that celebrates the individuals who gave the ultimate sacrifice to protect his or her country. They will also ship their distilled spirits directly to you, so check them out at leatherwooddistillery.com. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Stave and Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows, and we became friends during my frequent visits to Kentucky. Today, he's leading the way for young distillers making their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery combines family history, a look at what makes their products unique, and of course a tasting through their whiskeys, moonshines, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com and visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. Hello, this is Matt Rainey, and you are listening to the Bourbon Daily. One day when I grow up, I'm going to grow a big boy beard, just like Colonel Steve. Well, welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. It's show 1,988, and we're talking about the year 1988. 1980. What a year. What a year. I was in my second year of college. Uh, it was a big year for me because I got uh, the good roommates. I'd, I'd met them the second half of uh, the first year, but by year two, we we had it down. And uh, th those are my running buddies for the rest of my college uh, career. And, uh, you know, guys that were ultimately in my wedding and stuff like that. Great guys. And uh, yeah, we would, uh, we'd have fun. So yeah, I'm doing all, all kinds Steve, of college. Where stuff. did you go to college? Uh, Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. So yes, 
I lived over there. Um, it was nice. I had an apartment, but I was close enough to home where I could come home when I wanted, but I could also stay there as much as I wanted and be away from home. So it, it was a perfect combination. So I, I definitely enjoyed my time there. Uh, ultimately, the warden went there. She followed me there. And then uh, my daughter was a graduate of SIUE too. So all, all of us have been there. So that's we're, we're legacy now at this point. So if my, if my daughter would ever have a kid, they, that kid has got to go there. So we, uh, even my kid says that. She's like, yeah, well, you know, we can't go anywhere where else of course i'm like yeah, yeah there you go. gotta go to edwardsville so uh 88 yes that's what i was doing in 88 before uh, we get time. before we get into 88 facts i have a bourbon fact about 1988 okay what do you got what happened in 88 that is when booker no came out with his small bash namesake bourbon mm. bookers came out in there you go bookers how about that yeah Ooh, that's, bookers that's good. and that's me and fact. becca that's a fucking good year yeah there you go <laughs> that is a yes. Good year. yes Yes, we're celebrating uh, uh, both McNew and Becca. So, yes, yeah. this is uh, your special show today. Uh, not to anyone else. There you go. Nobody else. Just yeah. us. If anyone, uh, if anyone says it's not that way or wasn't intended the way, they're starting rumors. So there you Also, go. it was the year of the dragon. So we're dragons. Year of the dragon. I was born uh, the year of the monkey, which I like. I, th- I feel like if, any- if anything encapsulates <laughs> what I am, it would be the monkey. So that's good. I feel like I was born a, a good year. I bet when you, Lenny, you was know born- what year you were born in? Lenny was born the year of the rat, uh, I would guess. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. I, I, I bet you. I'm just pretty, I don't even know anything I'll about it. Look it up right now. I guarantee you're wrong. I bet you it's year of the rat. Uh, uh, Lenny, do you know what year you were born in? Yeah, I fucking know what year. I'm asking Danny now. What, what, you were born? <laughs> what year I was born in? I was in born the in the Chinese 76. calendar. You were the tiger, I, I, I don't know what. No, you were born the year of the tiger. Nineteen seventy-four. No, I bet you were born. You're lying. You you've added you either added or subtracted the year just so you could sound good. You, I guarantee you, Lenny's year of the rat. I could just tell by looking. You're well, lying, <laughs> Lenny. If you're looking up no. year the year of the Chinese things, look up seventy-six. What's seventy-six? All right, I'll look it up. Danny's uh, seventy-six. Which was a great year, too, by the way. 76, I think, was America's greatest. You're the dragon. You're the dragon. Ooh, you're oh, a dragon. Like McNew. Like, it makes sense. It's 12 years later, so we should have just figured that out. We should have known that. I Kathy, you're the dog. You're the dog. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry. No. The dog is I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Loyal. Kathy, I'm sorry. That's that's a bad one. I, uh, yeah, nah. That's okay. Also, fur babies, Kathy. <laughs> no, yeah. fur babies. You're a fur baby, basically, is what you're saying. No, so, no. my dogs are my pets or my kids. They're Gosh, sorry. When I was a kid, my dad would always tease me with that and be like, I think this weekend, if you're good, we're going to get, we'll get a pet monkey. I mean, that's all I wanted in the world. I wanted a goddamn monkey. That's, that's all I wanted to know. You know, it might, were you my a dad Michael used to, Jackson fan? No. <laughs> Danny, I, 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 Michael Jackson was like, when I'm in college, I'm not into Michael Jackson. I know, but. No, no, I, I was in, I wanted a monkey. My dad would do that. Like he would test, like if I was acting like I was asleep, you know, when in the back seat, sometimes you're just, you know, you're on a road trip, you're just acting like you're asleep. And I'd always be like, God, I mean, God damn, look at that. There's a monkey w- w- crossing the street right now. And of course, I'd pack my head up. Where? Tell me, tell me, where is it? Man, I wanted a monkey. Oh, I just thought it would be so cool. Did you have siblings? Do you have siblings? I have a sister. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, believe me, a monkey would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out as well with the sister. The monkey would have been great. Would have been a good friend, but the sister, that was nothing but fighting. Yeah. I yeah. should do a show on siblings. Uh, of what oh, my God. Gosh. Show our siblings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My sister would come on, you know, she'd talk about the torture of living with me, which I'm sure uh, I'm a handful. So my brother probably wouldn't come on, but his wife would. My sister-in-law would come on for sure. (laughs) That would be a funny show. That would be a funny show. Yes. Uh, Kathy, let's hear some of the facts about 1988. What What do we need to know about that great year? So the fashions that were popular in 1988 were oversized sweaters and leggings okay acid washed jeans oh yeah yeah that was big gotta have your acid washed jeans jeans oof not a good look back yeah that's not a good look it's all coming back it's good back then it's not good now right now 
Yeah, it's not good. So if we want to look into music, Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror Ooh, was big. Bobby Farron's Don't Worry, Be Happy. Came out. <laughs> what, a pe- what a piece of crap that is. I know. <laughs> and Guns N' Roses dropped Sweet Child of Mine. There you go. Guns N' Roses was good. They were, I think there were good. some standouts. So what about uh, there was Robert Palmer, Simply Irresistible? That's a good one. That's a classic. Oh, that's, 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 that's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, God, what else? Uh, YouTube that- Fire, Not So Bad. Desire. Oh yeah, uh, my my roommate played that one all the time. Desire. Um, Tracy oh, Chapman's yeah. fast car. Yep, yep, good one. Tiffany uh, could have been. There's some solid turds though. Uh, Wild Wild West from the Escape Club. Well, the Escape Club, yeah. Um, I believe. Uh, Wild Wild West. That was a terrible one. Is it terrible because Steve knows all the words? Give me, give me safe sex. Wild Wild West. Uh, new Kids on the Block, <laughs> The Right Stuff. Horrible, horrible. Wait, were they alive in 1988? Me? No, the New the, Kids on the Block. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were. Yeah, yeah. That, okay. That's that's okay. Danny's era, because my, my yeah. sister was born in 76. She was a huge New Kids fan. So I know people uh, that are Danny's age would be the New Kids fans. So, yeah, yeah, so I was born way after my cousins. That was their generation. They were right. very good. You, oh yeah they were off. huge and they continue to be this day the there's still a force this day but not with people who yeah. are young or not people who yeah. are my age so, it's still that same kids. group it's a, the, the, they like them now as adults yeah. uh, so new kids that, the block did a thing with backstreet boys backstreet boys were for me and i went with my cousin and we were right. just like so that still, was yeah funny. that's that's what's yeah. interesting about them they still are your thing you know years later even though yeah well, yep. you, you kind of grow- guy in new kids on the block danny Danny, yeah. Wahlberg? What? Danny Kennard? Well, Danny yes. Kennard. I mean, Danny he, he went by Danny Wood, but maybe he changed his name to Kennard. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Danny's really famous. Danny's famous. Yeah. yeah. Danny is famous yeah. for his nine ounce shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Freddie Mills. Freddie Mills. And Freddie Mills. Freddie Mills, Mills approves. Let's talk about movies. Okay, what um, movies were big? Two big was a good year. Tom movies. Tom Hanks did Big, wow. and Tom Cruise did Cocktail. Terrible. Yeah, I don't Cocktail like either of those. Was a damn good movie. I love. No, Cocktail. it wasn't. That was terrible. I still like it. I feel like it's nostalgic. I like. Cocktail. Is it Michael Caine in that one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's about I don't dude think so. He drinks with vodka. Yeah. Oscar winners. Okay. The the last emperor won the best picture. That sounds terrible. I would never seen that, but it's it's got to be terrible. Cher won best actress for Moonstruck. Moonstruck, okay. Talking about yeah. how Cher is a vampire because she doesn't age. Like Cher now yeah. looks like Cher in nineteen seventy. Like Cher is still That's hot. Not, Don't you feel like Cher won just because people want to see her out surgery? Yeah, she's, not, she's dead. She's really dead. Yeah. She's still alive? Is she? I think Cher's dead. Yeah, oh, she's no, dead. She, no, she's not. She's, she's alive. Dead, she's a zombie. She's alive. She'll be doing her comeback tour probably this year. I mean, I feel like if you put enough Botox in yourself, you can live forever. Cher's yeah. still alive. Cher's doing fine. She's okay. Michael Douglas won best, pick, best Actor for Wall Street. Michael Douglas. He's terrible, too. He can't yeah. act. He, he's, I, he's like an 80s guy. That, that we're, we're, Douglas acts better than Michael Douglas. Right. Michael, and, Michael was always bad. He was bad. He's still yeah. alive? He's still alive, yeah. I feel like this is a death. His movie. career's dead. His career. Like, dead. We're like, who's alive? Who's dead? God, it's yeah. only been 34 years, guys. Nobody died that soon. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, yeah, a lot of people did. died. Yeah. 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 Kermit and the Frog died. Yeah. Prince is no longer with us. Wait. Yeah. Kermit the Frog died? Yeah, he did. What happened? No, yeah. no, no. He died. Frog's Jim Henson. I mean, come on. Other people Jim could do it. Jim Henson but- died. <laughs> Yeah, Jim Henson Kermit's died. Still mm-hmm. doing stuff. Kermit in the city. Nah, it's not as good. It's it's, it's, it's like fake Kermit. Walk it's like Tony good. the Tiger now. I used to, when I was a kid. I, they're great. Now we got now we got new Tony. Hey, they're great. No, I, <laughs> get me the old fucking Tony. Just play the, the sound it's sound clips. He says the same shit. Don't don't I'm give me a new around with my year of the animal. <laughs> <laughs> you exactly. year of tigers. Yeah. He was no. a year of the rat. He's lying. Year of the tiger. I know he's year of the rat. It's, you know wrong. <laughs> he's making that shit up. Other, I'm, I'm talking over you. Other okay. things that happened were the Seoul Olympics. Seoul Olympics, okay. Yeah. And uh, Ronald Who's the Reagan, big star in Seoul Ronald Olympics? Ronald Reagan know? was president. I don't know that. Sean White, probably. Sean White, I think, won gold. He's still, he's still a star forever. in the yeah. Olympics. Yeah. Forever. 
Yeah, Sheldon, he's cool. Uh, unfortunately, right. he, he came in fourth, though, so he, he didn't get the medal. That's well, it's rigged. Yeah, it's rigged, I guess. So, also, everybody did good things in 1988, except fucking McDonald's, and they came out with some trash called the McChicken, which is worse than the McFish bullshit. Okay, McChicken. Is that, that's, that's still on the menu today, right? The McChicken is made. It still though. exists and it never got better. I think that is disgusting. Well, I, I tell you what, the, the, everything the, the, from McDonald's is kind of gross. I agree. Everything at McDonald's is gross. But how does the McRib still be around? Uh, have you ever tried? I tried one of those whenever that came out. And that was like mid 80s. My God, that thing was terrible. It's filled with gristle. And stuff. Oh, how's, how's it still a thing today? People get excited out, about yeah, it. It's, it's, it's like a thing. It's like billboards. People yeah. get excited. Why? I think that's just good marketing. I, guess. I think that's good marketing because no one's eating it. Danny, you ever eat a McRib? Yep. You like yes, them? Today. Yep. Okay, there <laughs> you like that's why they I make did. them. I get at least four a year. <laughs> Danny gets four McRibs a year. Okay. That's who they're making them for right there, Danny. Yeah. They, they have an audience. They know what now they're we know. doing. I don't like them. Wow. Well, it tastes- Something about the barbecue sauce is what sets it off. Is uh, it the it fresh may onions? Be true meat. It may be plant based meat. I have no, no idea. I think it's just, I think it's chicken beaks and assholes, is what it is. Yeah. Well, it may be hair lips and assholes. Yeah, I think, I think that's all it is. So, yeah. but I think they have to be pigs. It has to be pigs lips and assholes. It doesn't. Do you think it really matters? Like, like McDonald's going to say, like, well, we're going to reject this. It's, well, that's no, more they chicken said it was a rib. So we, we assume that it's pork okay. of some kind, okay. probably. So chickens probably have food. ribs too, I would guess. Right? Everyone's got ribs. <laughs> right. <Just> like <laughs> Everyone's got ribs. Go to Aldi's and buy the frozen ribs <laughs> and some barbecue sauce, and you can supposedly copycat that. I don't know. I thought it but nobody these. wants to. No. Right. Uh, yeah. Why would you want to copycat that? I'll tell you so. one thing that, that the McRib does right. Here's something that, that uh, here's a, here's a pro tip. Uh, don't take your barbecue sauce just out of the refrigerator and put it on whatever the hell you're eating. The no. barbecue sauce should always be heated up. That's yep. key. If, if it's not on the meat, uh, it should just be heated on the stove. Then if you're, if you're going to have it as a side, that's okay. But, but make sure you heat it up. Don't put the cold barbecue sauce on shit. That's no good. It's terrible. No, no. This is like a whole because debate, the, right? About the sugars can uh, collaborate. Uh, they collaborate. Uh, hey, sugars, gather around. Let, let's work yeah. together to make yeah, this yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. All sugars, gather up. Mm-hmm. We're going to collaborate. <laughs> no, so this is a thing, though, about condiments. So I have a friend that's married to a person okay. who thinks ketchup shouldn't go in the fridge because, like, restaurants can leave, like, steak and shake, whatever, can leave ketchup on the table. But, it, like, it literally says to fucking refrigerate. Like, you put your ketchup in the goddamn right. fridge with whatever you're there are enough <laughs> preservatives in ketchup that it's going to keep i mean like it's literally like sh- sugared tomatoes like it's fucking yeah, stupid that's what ketchup but, is really you know like, sugared tomatoes but it's not to put it in the fridge so you put it in the fridge like a normal person but her husband is like no we leave it on the table and i'm like that would just piss me off because it's fucking up my tablescape like get that shit out of here <laughs> no. also it's we'll embarrassing it, it is embarrassing barbecue sauce yeah. what are you eating wait, wait, so wait, wait yeah. i want to hear what lenny has to say well, I didn't have that much to say. I was just saying, I think it's embarrassing to put ketchup on your table. <laughs> I think so, too. You're not seven. If, you, if you're seven years old and you own a house, put your ketchup on your table. Exactly. Uh, but, but yeah, if, if you're older than seven and you're a homeowner, don't put ketchup on your table. Yeah, that's just weird. Why would you do that? Yeah. And Danny, what were you going to tell us about barbecue sauce and heating up? It turned yeah. up. If you put it in the refrigerator it kind of gels like mm-hmm. it, it comes out slowly you, you got to heat it up that's cute it up you know but then mm-hmm. when you get it on the grill and everything else yeah it kind of screws it up because it caramelizes and then it looks like it's burnt right Caramelization you do is a good. room temperature barbecue sauce and you baste your meat with it <laughs> it doesn't come out burnt <laughs> Why is that always so funny? <laughs> you can never get used to hearing that, right? It sounds dirty. <laughs> it just, it's no, not it's dirty, dirty, but it sounds dirty. Yeah, like it's one everything of those phrases. Funny. Funny. Like, base your turkey. I'm like a 12 year old boy. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Danny said, "Based your meat," and I yeah. couldn't but hold it be, together. Be the worst, the turkey, but it's still yeah. funny. Well, yeah. my favorite uh, shirt I've ever seen on the internet was once. 
Okay, it's a barbecue shirt. It okay. around, says, once you put my meat in your mouth, I guarantee you're going to want to swallow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> says Freddie Mills. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Freddie, he'll be trying to get us to sell that at the ABV Night Workshop, but we're not going to, folks. You're not going to buy that one for us. No, it's not happening. It's not going to happen. So what else, what else uh, is from 88, Kathy? That's all I have. Well, uh, back to the fashion thing. I just noticed uh, Z Cavaricis came out in 87. Mm -hmm. I think okay. their prime. So That's for it. the gentlemen in my graduating class, the Z Cavaricis were important. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. Maybe we what, should bring them back. Can we talk yeah. about names of generations, though? So I graduated with a thousand Ashleys and a thousand Rachels. And there were like maybe three Stephanies. What were like the names of your classes? Steve's Ooh. and Mike's and uh, yeah, yes. Tracy's. Yeah. yeah I mean, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. A yeah. Of, yeah. A lot of Heathers. Heathers. Yeah. yeah. These names are gone too. It's, it's all wow. different stuff now. Yeah. No, Stephanie has never been popular, by the way. No, it wasn't. My mom was just like, I like They're always it. the worst people. Think of all the Stephanies, Stephanies you know. in my class. I, I don't. Yeah. Like a lot of, are I they are, are are they good people uh, or like, are they dorks? They are good people. Yeah, good, but but in a dorky way, though, right? No. Uh, but no. There, there's a cool. Name me a cool Stephanie. Who's a cool Stephanie? Uh, celebrity wise, who's a cool celebrity stuff? Oh, celebrity based? I can't. Sure, sure. I mean, that's where we got to set. Where we got to set the standard. Yeah. Gwen Stefani. That's Steph not Stephanie. Yeah. That's the Italian Wait, last name. Is she's just trying to, it's she's trying to elevate it. She's yeah, trying to Gwen elevate Stephanie. it. Gwen Stefani. Like yeah. you might like know like a cool like Latin Stefania. Like she's hot, but like you don't know a cool Stephanie. Uh, there's no cool Stephanie. So I'm sorry. I I, I beg to differ. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can have Stephanie as my accountant, or you know, I, I'm not saying all Stephanies are bad people. Yeah, my, my here's my accountant, Stephanie. I, fine, yeah, that's cool. I, Stephanie, yeah, like, a person, the, I like you. It just it feels like a mouthful, right? That like there's fucking like three syllables. Let's talk about other 1988 names like Becca. 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 There's Becca's. Those are cute. Rebecca. Rebecca. Also, yeah. yeah. Uh, no one's going to say anything now because she's going to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she would say something like that. She she doesn't like the name Rebecca or Becky. For God's sakes, never call her Becky. She does not like that. No, Becky's not a good name. That's, a, that's a, Becky and Stephanie hang out together. So, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Like, those are, those are like mom names. They're yeah, like, they're not good. Yeah. Well, Becky and so Stephanie. My family doesn't even call me Stephanie. I never used to. I did you the biggest fair. I'll tell you what, if if, if you would have came on day one, the, the Bourbon Daily, and hello, my name is Stephanie McNeil, you'd be gone. I think the audience would reject you. Like, you but, like but you come on, and I was like, your name's McNeil, and but, that's what we're going to call you. And that 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 yeah. turned into your brand. That, that's like, what, my, my family calls me Stephanie. Like right. the little people, like my niece and nephew call me stuffy. Like it just, Stephanie is not a thing. Like I don't, it's not cute. Nobody yeah. likes it. It um, also allows you to know though, who is, you know, are, are they from the, the, you know, the bourbon industry? Because those are the people who are going to call you so McNeil. they just be like McNeil. Um, like older, older listeners, older gentlemen are like, I have to call you Stephanie. Calling you by your last name is weird. It's respectful. I'm like, yeah, no. like Luke. Luke for famously be like Stephanie. We're like her name's McNew. Stephanie. Yes, Stephanie. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how it no, is. No, I feel like it's like the Tiffany, but like less slutty. Like Tiffany's your stripper, but Stephanie's your accountant. Like it's it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Danny's were always a popular. I wonder if Danny's still popular today. I think there's still Danny's there, out there. I right? think there's still Daniels. Dan I'm Daniel, but we'll call him Danny. There's yeah. so many Daniels in the world. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of Lenny's. Yeah. There's a lot of females out there also still named that yeah. go by Danny. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True. True. <laughs> yeah, They're yeah. all strippers. Don't you think Danny, well, at this point, Danny's probably, Daniel, is, like, he's right. There's probably more. Uh, the younger generation is probably more popular female name than it is a male name, I would guess. Yeah, yep. I had three Danielles in my class too. Oh, a lot of Danny's, yeah. 
Well, now Lenny is an, you're almost growing into your name. Uh, the age you should be named Lenny, uh, Lenny uh, at this point <laughs> in your life, but I'll tell you what, the first 40 years or so yeah, that you're, you're, there's no way uh, yeah, there's, there's no such thing as a three-year-old Lenny. Uh, it's, yeah. it's not a thing. No, uh, there's very few, but the upside is, uh, no confusion. Easy to remember. No one's right. forgetting your name. Right. That's true. That's yeah. True. Lenny. Yeah. It's, uh, it works. It works. Okay. Yeah. So can we also talk about the name Chris? Like my husband's name is Chris, but I have dated five other Chris's. Like that was like <laughs> his first name was Chris. Like I'm having a boy, Chris, 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 Christopher. Like that's the only fucking name they knew about. I have dated yeah. five of them until I found one that was decent. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever go to like a, a party uh, with an old school Italian family and they only have like four names? Like this is here's Daniel, here's Danny, there's a uh, Christopher, there's Chrissy, there's a uh, Chris, there's a uh, Christopher, and Paul. <laughs> yeah, and Paul. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's they, a lot they, of these ponies too. My, my boss just <laughs> and, and he'd have a party, and then it, it was all they all had like two or three names, and that's it. And they were, but they were all like a playoff of that. There's, there's, and the girls were like Catherine or Marie, Catherine, yeah. Maria, yeah, yeah. Catherine, all the same. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Catherine's a beautiful name. It is. No, it's not. It's you, uh, you mess no, me up not. like. Fuck you. Yeah, it, it is. It's bad because I know you as Kathy. I don't know you as Catherine. And and then 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 it, it, you know you get that thing on 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 uh, on uh, Apple on uh, the texting. Uh, she's updated her profile or whatever. So I, I I hit yes, and then I'm trying to text Kathy. And I, I'm like, she's not in my thing anymore. Where's Where's Kathy? Cool. And then I, it's it's because her name is Catherine in the texting thing. I, and then I just overrode it. I was like, no, oh. I'm, not, I'm not going by her suggested thing. I'm going back in and I'm fixing this. And she's going to be Kathy Cool in my uh, uh, texting book. So yeah, that's yeah. that's it. So, this was a thing. So to it, I will be KK. Yeah. You're KK. Kim Kardashian so, can suck my asshole. I am KK. <laughs> you are KK. <laughs> So my mom, Sorry. my mom was the name Katie for a long time, but then like it's a derivative of Catherine. And my dad's mom was Catherine. My mom fucking hated her, so she's like, "I'm not naming my kid Katie. She's gonna be fucking Stephanie. Fuck Catherine." <laughs> like she just was not having Katie at all. No, no Katie. Huh? You almost were Katie though. Huh. Just cute. Katie. Katie's are cute. Everybody loves a Katie. But yeah, Katie <laughs> McNeil. Katie McNeil. Yeah, that was not happening. My mom was like, no, Catherine would think she was named after her. I'm not doing it. Not at all. Wasn't happening. Yeah. Syllables. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. There is our tribute to the year 1988. There it is. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful tribute to a wonderful year. So there you go. Uh, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Kathy, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Facebook at Kathy Cool. Interesting. Not Catherine Cool. Kathy Cool. It's mm. Kathy Cool. Yeah. Don't, uh, if you, if you text with her, don't hit the update thing. Cause it'll mess you up. You won't be, you'll text her the next time. You'll be like, where the hell, where's she at? She's gone. No, just don't, you know, don't do that. Just keep it Kathy. All right, Danny, how about you? Where can people find you? Well, if you text me before you text, me, <laughs> then I will answer, but uh, just let me know that you want to find me on Facebook at Danny Kennard. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, Lenny, how about first. you? <laughs> Where can people yeah. find you? Yeah, you can find me and the rest of Deer Hammer on social media at Deer Hammer on the webs at DeerHammer.com. You can also order our stuff shipped directly to your door and you can come visit Deer Hammer in beautiful Buena Vista, Colorado. Oh, hey, Lenny, I got a question for you. Bye. Did you see on social media, I think yesterday, McNew posted her phone number on social media? Don't you think that's a bad move? <laughs> dog's account nobody follows my dogs it was on my yeah, yeah uh, that, it's on it's on the internet your phone number no, uh, the, they well, have a private account a hundred people that i know follow them i think nobody it's a bad move for mcnew yeah them. exactly yeah. Yeah. don't you yeah don't do that mcnew no don't don't, don't post your phone number because online my dog runs away and a hundred people find him with my number on his collar it's like, fine to have your number on the collar but not post it on just on the internet be like okay <laughs> Where everybody right, can see who has nothing to do. They turn around and see you, and then they turn around and start uh, looking yeah. at your pictures and everything. Right. Uh, you're going to get a few pictures that you do you not probably want. don't want. Yeah. yeah. And then I, okay, so I used That's to. That's just from Danny. That's just from Danny. 
<laughs> just saying. Not the rest of the world. That's just from Danny. So well, imagine what the rest right. of the world's going to hit you with. So yes, don't put your phone number out on social media. That's the end of the line. So there you go. Yeah, that's a Rick mix. And a yeah. he's a mix made me a millionaire. Thank you. <laughs> McNew, uh, where can people find you? I am on Instagram at McNew ABV. Or if you want to follow my dogs and get my phone number, they're at Oakley St. Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, those numbers are going to spike. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out because everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I'd like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABV Network. All right. Great job today, gang. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Another friend of ours is the Goldstein family at Goldstone Mill. The Goldsteins offer a variety of heritage and heirloom grains to make the finest whiskeys in the world. Plus, they are more than just a grain company. They are truly consultants to make sure the grains they are providing to you or your business meet your highest expectations. Additionally, they work with mills around the country ensuring shipping is as low as possible for their customers. If you are a distillery, brewery, or even doing this at home, Goldstone can assist you. Check them out at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or check in via email at hello at goldstonemill.com. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.